Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Investigation. This is it, the last problem from 2022 MC10B, which also appeared on 12B for number 23. As you watch this video, tell me if you have anything that you don't understand, or if you have a completely irrelevant question, please put them down in the comment section below. I will be sure to answer each and every one of them. All right, so let's get started. This problem states, let x0, x1, x2 be a sequence of numbers where each xk is either 0 or 1. For each positive integer n, define sn to be the sum from k equals 0 to n minus 1 of x sub k times 2 to the k power. All right, so this problem, a lot of the pieces indicate us, okay, maybe it's only just 0, 1, maybe it's like kind of like binary. We also have mod 2 to the m, which is like very nice in binary. That um, 1 mod 2 to the n just means like um, the number ending with a lot of zeros and a 1. Um, and then like here, whatever, the 2, uh, two to the nth bit um, beyond we don't care about. So it seems like this number is very, very nice to work with when it is in binary. So let's just take a look at what we have over here. So x0, x1, x2 is a sequence. Okay, let's take a look at this. Sn, um, let's try as not, but as not like zero minus one, that's like negative one, so that doesn't really exist. So. It, it also says positive integer n, so I guess we start from S1. S1 is the sum of k equal to 0 to 0 of xk times 2 to the k, which is simply x0, right? x0 times 2 to the 0, which is 1. x2 is going to be the sum from k equal to 0 to 1 x uh, xk times 2 to the kth power, which is x0 plus 2x1, which, you know, if you write it in binary, this is x0, this is x1, x0, like as a number. And as 3, if you just keep expanding the same form, you would find that that is x2, x1, x0 as a number. Okay, so let's just take a look at the condition. Suppose 7sn is uh, congruent to 1 mod 2 to the nth for all n greater than or equal to 1, then hmm, maybe we can try to have something like uh, 7s1. Let's try s1 first. S 7s1, that is just going to be 7 times this x0 element, whatever that is. That is 1 mod 2. Okay. So we know that this element over here is going to be 1 mod 2 somehow. And this is either 0 or 1. If this is 0, it just like cannot be. So x0 has to be 1 in order for this number to be odd, essentially. Let's try 7s2, which is 7 times x1, x0. This number is 1 mod 4. So we can see, okay, that 7 is also, we can write in binary as 1, 1, 1 times this x1. We know x0 is 1, is 1 mod 4. Okay, so, hmm, what now? We can expand this uh, using just like a normal long division, but in binary, uh, 1, 1, 1 times x1, 1. one. 1, 1, 1, and then this is going to be x1, x1, x1. And we want this digit to be 0. So the only choice we have over here is for x1 to be 1. So we know x1 is 1. Okay, so now we know x1 is 1, x0 is uh, zero, uh, 1. Okay. You might think, okay, this is kind of slow, right? Uh, in competition, I don't really have that much time. So let's just try something, a general form, Sn. 7 Sn. If you expand Sn, you would find, well, it's the same thing. You would have uh, xm minus 1, xm minus 2, all the way to x0. 
as your expansion. And seven times that is uh, one mod two to the nth power. Okay, cool. So we can, again, expand this to be one, 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 and just do a normal, like a very normal long division or long multiplication, just write it out. X and my uh, n minus one, x n minus two, all the way to x zero. You, you'll know later why I left that much space, but um, times one, one, one. So you would get the same thing because you're just multiplying by one, but shifted once for the second one and shifted twice for the third one. Looks like this. Cool. So this is going to be one and until two to the nth, mod two to the nth. So until this bit, everything here is going to be zero. Zero, zero, zeros. Okay, so now let's just take a look at this. We can fill in a little bit over here, x3, x2, x1, um, all things like that. And uh, again, like it goes all the way to uh, Sn or Xn minus one technically. So we know, okay, from the last bit, okay, x, x0 is going to be replaced by once and x1 is going to be replaced by once also. Okay, now let's look at the quote unquote hundredth <laughs> digit place. Um, it's actually fours because, you know, it's binary, it's two to the power and two to the second power, <laughs> apologize. Um, if you just look at this, you might find, okay, x2 here, it actually has uh, this, one plus one has a carry over here. So we have three ones. And if we have three ones, then X2 must itself be a one because we must have an even number of ones. And two carries go um, in front. That's not one one, it's just two carries, two marks. If you prefer, you can write one zero, but I personally find that a little bit weird. Okay, anyway, so this also has to be one. We have two carries and two digits, so well, obviously, we are already have an even number of ones. So x3, shockingly, is going to be a zero. <laughs> Did you think that it's going to be all ones? No, no, no. It's not going to be that easy for you. All right. So x3 is going to be zero. Let's fill in some of the blanks over here. We have. So the next one, again, we have two carries. And two carries, We that makes three ones. So... The one left, that has to be a one to make sure that we stay as a zero now when it's mod. Okay, and we keep going. Uh, again, every time it's two carries from this point on, and this is just going to be uh, two carries. We know that this is a one, so it has to be another one over here. And if you just keep doing this, you'll find that every third, there is going to be a zero. So if you keep doing this like this, one, one, uh, you meet with four over here. So you need a zero over here. And every third, there's going to be a zero. So this uh, sequence of axes, it, uh, it looks like if we, uh, let me just highlight the sequence of axes over here. It looks like one, one, one. Uh, that's the last three digits, kind of like an outlier. And then zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, dot, dot, dot. So this is X3. This is X6, right? Because uh, remember, we started with X0. And this is X9 all the way. So we get that Xn is equal to uh, either zero if x is divisible by 3 or 1 otherwise. You can prove this by induction, but during competition, just go with it. it like, if you find a pattern like this, it's probably not going to be wrong. If you find a pattern that's like too simple, though, if all of them are ones, then maybe be a little bit suspicious on that. But, so let's turn back to our original 
uh, expression. We know 2019 is divisible by 3 and 2022 is divisible by 3, so those are zeros. And this is a 1, this is a 1, so our answer is going to be 2 plus 4. Don't make a silly mistake on that, which is equal to 6. So our answer is going to be A. And that will be it for the entire set, 2022 MC 10B. And if you have any questions regarding to this question or not, you say, investigation, I don't understand this question. Uh, can you explain this part more, uh, more in detail? Yeah, sure, I will help you. Um, I'm just here to help you to my greatest ability. And if you have like any different, like completely unrelated question, send me over, um, I will take a look at it. Uh, probably likely to help you on that as well. And that will be it for now. I hope you to catch you in the next video, which I hope is going to be a little bit uh, new on the newer side for this channel. But for now, have a great day and goodbye.